Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I want to show you some basic drawing techniques and go through step by step how to paint a flower. You can use the same flower reference image as me or take a stroll around the area that you live and get your own flower photos. The drawing tips I want to show you today will apply to any flower painting. So the first step that I do is using a very very light pencil mark. I just sort of sketch out where I want the flower to go and where it's going to situate on the paper and how big it's going to be. Next I like to sketch out the individual petals and you can see from the reference photo there the way I'd look at an image and how I translate that into a pencil outline. So at this point I'm not too fussed about going right into detail, instead I'm just looking at the shapes and where they are in relation to each other and really just trying to get the scale of the object right. Essentially this is one of the most important steps, so it's really important not to overlook mistakes and if there's something that you're not sure on to go back and do it again. Sometimes if I'm feeling super confident with a sketch I will sketch it straight away in paint and especially because it's easier to see and you can get a feel for the colours as well. But for today's drawing I thought I'd use pencil because that's what most of you guys will be using. So once you've sketched in your main flowers, then it's time to add the stalks. I usually do this at the end because it's important to actually get them to link up with the flower head. So feel free to take as much time as you need for this stage. I've sped this process up a little bit for the sake of this YouTube video, otherwise I'd be here for a very long time. But try not to feel rushed with it and just enjoy the process. So next I choose my colours and usually I find my reference photo and I've added some dots in to show you the process of how I choose my colours. Don't be fooled into thinking that you need to buy the exact colour because usually you can mix whatever colour you need just using what you've already got. I'll link my video about making a colour wheel with only three colours up in the screen now and I'm also thinking about making a new video soon about colour mixing so let me know in the comments if that's something that you'd be interested in. To start my painting, I'm just going to add a base coat on all the petals. I usually start a painting with the bit that I'm excited most about because usually when you're most excited about something you put in your best effort. At this point I'm still not worried too much about detail, I'm just getting on my base layer and I'm using my paint really really nice and thick, especially because I'm working on paper today, so I don't want to make it too watery so that my paper all warps. Also you can probably see up close that I've not completely blended all my colours in when I've mixed them so instead I've used a bit of white and magenta and without mixing it all in on my palette it creates this like marble textury effect which really helps to build up the light and shadows already. It's also important to use your brush to its full extent and that's what gives it a really nice buttery brush mark. So next I'm just going to check that all the petals finish off properly right in the centre and whilst that colour is still wet I'm just going to add in again a background layer on the other flower heads. Mm -hmm. 
So looking at my reference photo, I'm going to pick out some bits that look darker and I'm going to take my pink straight from the tube and I'm going to start to add in some of those darker areas that I can see. And then to blend that in, I'm going to use the pink with a bit of white just to sort of really blend that into the colour that we've already got on the petal and also to pick out some of the highlights too. I'm going to add a little diagram here which shows how to look out for the dark versus the light different shadows and tones in the photograph. And now it's just a case of going through each petal and adding these different tones in. Now to bring it even more to life, I'm going to take some white straight out of the tube and just add a few little highlights here and there and this is really going to bring up the contrast. So next I'm going to work on the middle of the flower, so I'm going to take some yellow and add a bit of white into that and I'm just going to dot that in the centre of the flower to give it a nice texture and to try and mimic the actual photograph. I'm also just going to add a little tinge of green in there as well. Taking some of the dark purple, I'm just going to add that in around the centre of the flower to really get that contrast up and to really make it look like it's deep inside the flower. And then I'm going to grab the yellow and do another layer in the centre of the flower. Now I'm going to make a bit of a darker yellow mixture, so taking some yellow and a little bit of black, just going to create sort of like a deeper, more grey tone of that yellow. And I will be doing another layer of the yellow on top of this, so don't worry too much, but this is just going to add a little bit of shadow and give it a bit more of a dimension. Adding some pink to that same mixture, I'm now going to add a bit more contrast in between the leaves and again in the centre of the flower. All artists work differently and there is no right or wrong way of doing it, although there will be some people that try and tell you that. Well I like to work in layers and that's why 
I do so many different layers and keep going back in with more details because I like sometimes just to add a bit of a layer and then step back and see how I like the look of it and then I can go back in with some more details or different colours and that's how I really build up my painting. So next taking a bit of green mixed with a bit of pink I'm going to make a sort of greyish colour that we're going to use for the stalks. And that's coming out quite dark so I'm just going to add a little bit of white in just to bring that contrast up a little bit. So I'm just going to add in a few little hints of green, just so it's not too grey but it does also add a bit of colour. And using a dark mixture with black and pink, I'm just going to add in the sort of bud for the flower. I feel like it's nearly there so I just keep checking back to my reference photo and just add in little bits of refinements. I feel like it needs a bit of a background so using a bit of green and a bit of pink and white I'm just going to add just a very haphazard and abstract background in grey. I feel like the stalks get lost a bit with the background so adding a dark green I'm just going to pop in a little bit of shadow down one of the sides of the stalk. And as a last touch, I'm just going to add in a few more little pink low lights. Again, bringing the contrast up from the background and just to make it look more detailed in general. So that's it for today's video and I hope you really enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.